Hi, Ms. Whitman and students at Portage Park Elementary in Chicago, Illinois. My name is Lisa Congdon and I'm an artist and illustrator and my art is hanging in the hallway in your school. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed seeing it when you're at school. It's been a lot of fun for me to work with I Paint My Mind, the organization that has brought my art to your school. I love uh, being a part of it because I believe like IPMM does, that every kid should have access to art, to be inspired and to think about the world in a new creative way. I hope you love having the art gallery in your school. Ms. Whitman has passed along your questions about my work and I'm sorry it took me a while to get them to you and I thought um, I would answer them now for those of you who are um, watching this video. So here we go. Um, so the first question was, um, why do you use shapes, bright colors, and animals in your work? And um, I like to draw and paint things that make me happy and bring me joy. And I love bright colors and animals. So um, I also encourage you, when you are thinking of what to draw or paint, to also draw what you love. That's always the best place to start. Um, the next question is, why did I become an artist? Well, can I just say that being an artist is the most fun job there is. Um, when you get to do something you love as your job, it's the best feeling ever. So before I was an artist, I was actually a teacher and I taught kids just like you and I loved that job a lot too. Being an artist means that every day it's my job to come up with interesting ideas and then bring them to life with all of my tools, like my paint and my paint brushes and my, my iPad, because I also draw digital drawings on my iPad. And sometimes that can feel challenging when I don't have the best ideas, but I don't give up easily. And um, I really like the challenge of being an artist and I really like drawing and painting for a living. It's really fun. So the next question is, what other artists inspire me as an artist? Um, well. I have so many inspirations, but my very favorite artist in the whole world was named Alexander Girard, and um, he died a long time ago, but he also used uh, or loved to use bright colors and draw animals and shapes and symbols like I do. And uh, maybe your teacher can show you pictures of his work or and one of your parents or caretakers can look him up on the internet for you. And you, you might see uh, similarities between my work and his work. Um, the next question was, why do you choose to put kind words in a lot of your artwork? Well, I love to spread, spread kindness and love in the world, don't you? Um, and I love to make letters part of my artwork to spread those messages. It's a big responsibility to be an artist and I take that resp responsibility very seriously. I want to use my art to inspire other people to be happier and more creative themselves. Um, next question, do you do a rough draft before you make the actual final piece of artwork? That's such a great question. Um, sometimes, especially when I'm making a big painting, like something really big, bigger than me, um, and I plan to use lots of supplies to make the painting, I make a rough draft. And we call, um, in as artists, we call our rough drafts sketches. So I like to, um, to have a solid idea of one, what I'm gonna paint before I go in to paint, especially if I'm planning to use a lot of um, paint, because I don't wanna waste it on something that I haven't really thought about in advance. So sometimes I do make a sketch, um, but most of the time I don't actually make a sketch. I just draw from what's in my head, or I look at a picture of something and I try to try to draw, draw that thing in my own style. Next question, how do I find inspiration for my art? Well, I love looking at nature and you'll see um, a lot of my artwork has plants and animals in it. Um, I also love symbols and color. And I also love looking at folk art. And folk art is a huge inspiration to me. I spend a lot of time collecting inspiration. Um, and collecting inspiration is actually a really important part of being an artist, doing research and looking for things that inspire you. Next question, do you base your art on how you are feeling at the moment? 
Well, um, yes. When I'm making art for myself, it's usually based on how I'm feeling in the moment. So sometimes I make art for other people, though. And um, as an illustrator, it's my job to make art for other people. People hire me and pay me to, to make drawings for them. And they tell me what they would like me to draw. So sometimes when I work on those kinds of projects, they're not necessarily connected to my own feelings. So sometimes yes and sometimes no. All right, next question. How do I make my art? What is my general process? Well, it depends. So I make lots of different kinds of art using different tools. So something I use, sometimes I use paint and paper or dry, uh, pencils and paper um, or ink and paper. And sometimes I use paint and I paint on wood. Um, when I make big paintings, like the one that's behind me here, this one's on canvas, but sometimes when I make big paintings, I, I, I paint on wood. And sometimes I draw digitally using my iPad and an I, and a Apple Pencil. So um, sometimes the stuff I make only requires technology. I, I'm not using paint or paper at all. And usually I get an idea first and then I attempt to draw it and then I continue to refine it and work on it until it comes out um, like I want it to and, and, um, and I'm happy with it. So the next question is why do I use symbols in my art? So I love symbols because they're a way to communicate your feelings and ideas um, in, in something different than words. Um, and you can make up your own symbols too, which is, is really fun. And I think this is the last question, um, which is, what does art mean to you? Well, to me, art is anything you intentionally create using your own creativity or your imagination. And I hope you are all staying creative right now, and thank you for having me in your classroom.